People's Court with the Cutlers. This is the case of Hill versus Carter. You all have been together five years, on and off relationship. Yes. You've been back on for the last year. Yeah. Yes. And you recently, like two weeks ago, broke off your engagement. Is that correct? Yes, yes. Your Honor. Your Honor. Why did you break off the engagement? I broke off the engagement because I felt like uh, he's been cheating and I just want the truth so I'll know if I have a new beginning or end. All right. All right. Mr. Carter, have you been cheating? No, since we've been back together, I haven't. I love her. I only want to be with her. She needs to ease up a little bit on me with the insecurities. And other than that, I love this woman. When you say insecurities, what does that look like for you? If I go play basketball with my nephew and my homies, she swear I'm out trying to go meet new girls. Mm. I just need her to start trusting me a little no, bit more. But every time my woman intuition kick in, it be the case. I find something. And if your woman's intuition is correct and you find out he's cheating, what does that mean for you? It means that it's the end. Like, I ha it has to stop. Because I can't... I know that I'm not going crazy. I'm being insecure about things. Like, he likes to look at girls with a big behind. So every time I we, we, we together, I see him looking at a girl with a big behind, I automatically look, and I'm looking at him, trying to wander around. Like, I feel like I'm going crazy. Like, but I'm that's not the case, though, like, Your Honor. Yes, I'll see... Like, OK, we'll He'll do a out. double take. You turn around and stare. You supposed to be driving. <laughs> no. So, Mr. Cart, do you like girls with big butts? Do I don't not mind lie. looking at a girl who got a big butt. And you cannot lie. No, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> okay. But it's a difference between looking and how she say I look. So your your MO is this. Just because I'm on a diet don't mean I can't look at the menu. Yeah. All right. How does it make you feel when he's doing that? It hurts. It really hurt because it's like I already. I, I want a body like that. And I'm buying things to fix it up. And I'm like, well, if I, fi if I fix my, my butt, well, maybe he'll look at me like that and stop looking at them. I tell her all the time, she don't need to do that. You're beautiful. Don't do that. Like... So you make her feel beautiful? Yeah, I tell her all the time, like, hey, babe, you bad. I bite on her, kiss on her and stuff. But she'll <laughs> go buy some stuff just because, like... No, it's not just because. All right. Don't bite me, Mr. More so when he's in trouble. <laughs> I mean, clearly you had some happy times. Yes. Yeah. Talk to me about the beginning of um, this relationship. The beginning of our relationship, I had came home from work. It was a long day. And he had the kids clean up the whole house. The, it was, um, they had did their homework. And it was rose petals going up the stairs. And it just made oh. me feel real good because it was spontaneous. I would have never expected that. And that's what made me fall in love with him. Okay, you hear that? that? Rose yeah. petals okay. up the stairs. <laughs> Write that down. Rose, rose petals, petals up the stairs. Up the okay. stairs. Okay. House right. clean. Yeah. All right. We don't have any kids to do homework. Walk the dog. Yeah. The... All right. All right. So what did you love about her? The fact that she, like, she was independent. She took care of business on her own. And it, you know what I'm saying? I was upset when I first met her and she told me somebody broke in her house because that's how I first yes. met her. And I yes. went over there, I walked over her house from my sister house and stayed at her yeah, house for like walk. a week to make sure she was safe. So, I mean, you got your knight in shining <laughs> armor. Yes. You got your queen. Why are we here? Because he started cheating. One day, he always say, he would always get on me about when I wash his clothes, I would never check his pants pocket. When I checked the pocket, I found the cigarette pack, and in the back of the cigarette pack, it was a condom. We don't use those, so what is this for? And he's telling me, oh, well, you were asleep last night, and it was my sister's. Okay, excuse me, Your Honor. Can I explain That's myself? That's the new one. I went to my sister's house, and I asked my sister for a cigarette. When I picked up the cigarette box, I only seen the two cigarettes in it. When I got home, she finds it. First thing she says, oh, you cheating. I said, well, wait a I minute. Mean... And I called my sister the same night and was like, sis, ain't this yours? And she like, yeah. Oh, your sister just covering up for you. All right, okay. is this your sister next to you? Yeah, this is my oldest sister. All right, I have okay. Three Would you step up to the podium, please? Ms. Day? Yes. All right. I have to admit, the condom belonged to my sister is a new one. I haven't heard that one before. <laughs> so, can you shed some light on this incident? Yes, I had the condom and I put it in the pack. So he took the pack and that's what happened. He called me later to verify for him. But every time he, I find out something, he always puts his sister in it. She so you don't believe his sister? No. You don't think she's being truthful with no. the court? Miss Day? Yes, ma'am. It was your condom? Yes. And so you wouldn't call her up and just lie to her for your brother, would you? No, I wouldn't. I have no reason to lie to Tawana. 
I... Why do you think she thinks your brother is cheating? She's insecure at the time because of what has happened in the past, and she's not getting over it. So she's going to have it in the back of her mind continuously thinking that he's doing the same instead of seeing the change. That's what she needs to work on. Thank you so much, Ms. Day. Ms. Hill, Ms. Day's testimony is poignant to me because she's saying if you thought he was such a hot mess, why did you take him back a year ago? Because I, I'm, I love him. Honestly, I really, really love him. And it hurt because it's like, this is my life. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is five years. Like, where do we go from here? Ms. Hill. You yes, cannot did, move through the book of life if you keep revisiting the old chapters. Yes, yes. So when you took him back, you were saying to him, in essence, this is a new day. So why is it that you think he's cheating right now? Since we got back together, he always answers his phone, even when I'm around. So this particular morning, it's about 7.35, 7.45 in the morning, a phone call come through. And he, I said, well, why you didn't answer it? And he said, oh, it's a bill collector. And I'm like, a Saturday morning, 7.35, a bill collector? Don't read to me. Well, he said, well, if you don't believe me, you can call it. Now, when he say that, normally I don't call it. But something, women intuition again, said, it's no, real. you need to go ahead and check the search. And I checked the phone and found this number. It was out of town number. So I text the girl. And she texted me back and said that she knew him. Okay. Okay. Mr. Carter? Yes. You know, You're who right. was this out of town person that was calling you? I go to a restaurant and uh, I see the girl. First, she said I was handsome. I started laughing. So I said she looked nice back. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> it's the she... courtiest thing to do. Yeah, no, it's that's not. I was trying well, to be no, nice. No, uh, if somebody no, says yeah, you're nice right. today, you, you, you say thank to say you. Something and you know, like, no, like, but if it was you. me, if it was <laughs> me, <laughs> you don't say yeah, you too. Hey. No, 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 <laughs> no. Yeah. So, okay. okay, so Mr. Cutler. Let me be very clear, because I don't want you to say I misunderstood you. <laughs> <laughs> a young lady walks up and said, oh, you look nice. That's not what he said. He didn't say it like that. Okay. He didn't say he was handsome. That's what she yeah. said. All right. You're handsome, Mr. Cutler. Thank you. You look very nice today, too. No, no. <laughs> that's, that's, no. that's the polite no. thing to do. No. That's the polite thing to do. Thank okay. you. So, and then go no. order your coffee. So then, me and the girl, we got to talking back and forth. She asked me if I had a woman. I told her, yeah. Okay. She said, can no. I get your number to call you? Okay. So why'd you give her so your number? So why'd you give her your number if you got a woman? The reason why I gave her my number, you're right? Yeah. Because I, every day I gotta go home, I know I'm gonna argue with her regardless about a woman. So why oh, you okay. took the low road instead of the high road. You get tired of arguing about stuff when you ain't doing stuff, so I'm gonna give you a reason to say something. It ain't like I asked for her number and Is called the girl. Is that the only conversation get... you had with this woman? No. Yeah, yeah that's Hold the only it. time I seen her. I never seen that woman ever again after that. You know, Mr. Cutler, there are two sides to every story. At least two. Okay. There's a man... And in this case, it's a man's side and a woman's side. All right. I think we need to hear the woman's side. <laughs> this court has tracked down the other woman. And she is here. Okay. Ron, would you please escort our, our next witness? Yes, Your Honor. <laughs> oh, chuckle, chuckle. I heard that. <laughs> and the question is, is it, is it the same story? My story ain't no time. Uh, would you please state your name for the court? Janine Douglas. Miss Douglas, uh, how do you know Henry Carter? Um, I was walking past a store called... It was a deli store. He ran up and cost me. He drove up on me. He told me I was a beautiful, nice-looking woman. He, he wanted to get to know me, and he would give me a ride to where I was going because I was carrying some bags. Okay, um, so he approached you first. Yes, sir. He gave me a ride to my family member's house, okay? He asked me, did I have a second to continue to talk with him? I said, sure. We continued to talk. I proceeded to ask him, did he have a woman or anything of the nature? He said, no. So you, te you testified that she approached you first. Yeah. Okay, but you heard a testimony that you she accosted lying. her, I he's, think is the phrase you used. Excuse me, Your Honor. Excuse me, Your Honor. Yes. At the same time, he right. started texting my phone. I text Talking about three something in the morning saying that he wanted to, to let me know that he's been thinking about me and everything. And then later on, he texted right, me listen. again saying that... Oh, I, he said, I, I would like to take you out and are you free for a few hours? Mr. Carter, did you ever text Ms. Douglas? 
I text her back after she texts me. Listen, I didn't even but, have her number to begin with. She got my number. I gave her my number. I didn't okay. text her. Did she say I called her at three o'clock in the morning? Are oh, you woman serious? The you called me at three I would in get the up and text somebody at three o'clock in the morning. So what time did you text her? I text her during the day when she texts me. Excuse me. Here's the issue. Why are you giving this lady, as nice as she may be, your number when you've got a girlfriend at home? You're right. I was wrong for that. I, was, I told my okay. woman I was wrong for that. I apologize to her for that. She can tell you I apologize um, to her yeah, for that. I was but, wrong. Excuse me, Yana. I actually yeah. proceeded to send the texts to this lady. Yes. Okay. That he texted me. I, um... Didn't say anything to him, so he didn't know. So when he dropped me off at the laundromat, he called her and said, yeah, the reason why I didn't answer the phone is because I was busy or something like that. So she called me instantly afterwards and said he just contacted me. He said he was on his way to his sister house to let her know he don't know who this woman is that called her because she's, she's asking, who is this girl calling me asking about you? You said you didn't have nobody. So, he, so she gets on the three-way and she calls me on the three-way, and I hear him say hello, and but then he hangs up because I'm like, so you don't live with me? So we're not together, we're not engaged. I don't know if I'm <laughs> talking to her. So he, so you on a three-way, and she when you start talking, he he's like, oh, no. That yes. wasn't me on the phone. She heard everything he said. I asked her to no. please put the <sighs> okay. button and listen Who was that on the talk. phone who was impersonating you? No, I had my brother-in-law call it because I wanted to see who that was. <laughs> he is the most unlucky phone person I have ever seen. Listen, I have told her I don't... E I, listen, I don't even deal with phones. Clearly. I don't even saw my phones. She buys phones and be like, why you don't ever want no phone? Because I don't want no phone. I don't need no phone. I know how to pull up where I want to go talk to people. Okay, but Mr. Carter, I mean, you got to admit how this looks. Yeah, I know how it look. You feel what I'm saying? But Do you see how it smells, too? <laughs> uh, sure. This is your opportunity to uh, tell look. the truth. I and you, have, you, and, and you like, have not done that. Nah. Well, you ain't got to believe it. Like, what you mean? I told you what it is. Your sister doesn't look like she doesn't believe you. The witness doesn't believe you. I know she don't believe you. And just for the record, I don't believe you. All right. Well, that's what it is, then. Well, Ms. Douglas, let me ask you this. Yes, sir. From your text messages with Mr. Carter, did you get the impression that he wanted to have some kind of sexual contact oh, with I got you? The, I got the impression that he was trying to get me real hard. He was really being real... Excuse my language, but this is what they call it in the hood. Thirsty. Right. <laughs> okay? He was being real thirsty because you calling me at 345, 350 in the morning talking about you was thinking about me on the I first time you ever met me. Please. There's no texts in your phone where I called you first and text you first. All right. Mr. Carter, were you texting at 345 in the morning? No. Yes. Were you thirsty? No. Yes. She sleep Were you hungry? Me. How can I, yes. how can I text somebody at 345 yes. in the morning and she right there next to me? If she sleep, she can't hear you texting. Right. She oh, hear me okay. when I move. Listen, if I get up to go to the bathroom, this woman will wake up. What you doing? Where you going? Like, what you mean if she can't hear me? But why? She heard me? But why? Okay, but you know, you do understand, based on all this, why she's like that. Listen. You have created this monster. I, I created this monster? Yes, you did. What about what she created, like? I, I'm okay. that, that's not what we're here about. We're here about you. All right, well, listen, everybody make mistakes and either she, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm apologize for it. She Is your position, that, Mr. No Carter, still that you have not had any relationships outside of the one with Miss Hill in the last year, since you all have gotten back together? No. That's not your testimony. I haven't had no relationship with nobody else. All right. Because we have these issues, the differences in the testimony, the court has ordered a polygraph test for Mr. Carter. And we have the results. Yeah. All right. Ron, would you please escort Mr. Coffee into the courtroom? Yes, Sean. You did a polygraph examination of Mr. Carter? That is correct, yes. And you asked him one question. You asked him, since March 2016 until the present time, have you had sexual contact with anyone other than your fiance? What was his response? As I asked the question, Mr. Carter made an admission. Mr. Carter admitted to having sex with another person twice, with the last time being about two months ago. <laughs> I am so sorry. 
Well, all this time you made me think I was imagining this. Darling, you deserve to be honored, to be loved. I don't know if Mr. Carter's that man. I want it to be the end, but I still love him. What can he do right he now? He has to mean it. He has to stop and mean it. Like, he... Got... And he got to show me that it's it. Mr. Carter, you heard what you said. Are you prepared to do that? Yes, Your no, Honor. Don't tell me. Listen, sweetheart, I know I got some stuff I need to work out. I used to need even talk to you about my feelings. Like, I, I talk to you now a little bit. I got to get better at it, and I apologize for hurting you. This court has resources for you, counseling. Both of you need to invest in that. And as we say in this courtroom, do not cheat yourself out of an opportunity to have a healthy relationship. Court is adjourned.